Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland reviewer, and I'm here to review Echo 3 Season 1 on Apple TV+. And this is a action thriller focusing on a woman uh, played by Jessica Ann Collins who goes missing near the Colombian and Venezuelan border, and both her husband and brother, who are a couple of special ops soldiers must go in and try to find her and over the course of the 10 episodes here we get a lot of thrilling action sequences that I think are really well shot well choreographed it's much more like intense and focusing on the violence it's not like oh my god this is like a cool action movie it's an intense thrilling kind of action in it this is from creator Mark Bull, who had produced like The Hurt Locker and Detroit, worked obviously with Catherine Bigelow, and it has much more of that kind of feel and intensity. There's a lot of like geopolitical undertones and overtones focusing on the different kinds of political issues dealing with America and Central and Southern America and all of those kinds of layers to it. You do have the complications of, you know, this marriage at the center of it, and you have Michael Heisman, who is the husband, and Luke Evans playing the brother. They're at conflict with each other in terms of, like, what they're going to do to either save their sister or, um, sister or wife. And then you do get a lot of Jessica Ann Collins and... Her journey throughout this film and what this experience does to her. And, you know, I feel like some of the familial drama stuff gets a little much at times. I do feel like it has something interesting to say by the end of the season and its finale. Um, it's a little blunt. I feel like with some of its thoughts and commentary on those kinds of things at least... But I do think that it has some interesting themes when it does have to do with those familial things. It also has, obviously, a lot to say about, like, our involvement in, like, foreign policy, like, the foreign affairs and how we engage in these things. This is, like, it has interesting ideas, but it's a little blunt about them and it's kind of shallow about them. It has solid action, but... It feels like 10 episodes is too long to tell this particular story. It just feels like everything's a little... Not quite where it needs to be to be great, but it's just enough where it needs to be to be an engaging and interesting experience. There's definitely episodes where I felt less engaged watching, and I'm just like, did we really need most of this? Could this story have progressed further quicker? You do have some fun supporting performances like Bradley Whitford's in this. You have Frank Capoten, um, who's in the Bourne films. You have Tamar Morrison, who popped up in one particular episode where, like, their mother gets involved coming down. And which, that whole episode was like, why is this even happening? But it was pretty intense and it was a pretty engaging and thrilling episode. It just... It does everything just enough to be an interesting show. I don't think this is going to be many people's favorite show from 2022 into 2023. But, you know, it does its job. It's rock solid. And, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to watching a second season. I just hope that they could maybe streamline it and come up with something a little fresher in terms of what it's tackling. But those are my thoughts on Echo 3 Season 1. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.